Tell me, how much money do you spend on a monthly basis? say that but all it is is so you you spend more money so you you need to make more money to spend more money to feel secure when you make more money do you see how stupid that is but you know what but that keeps you in the world that you're dealing with because right now security is your most important aspect and your primary need right now but the only place you grow and where you grow is through uncertainty so there's not much uncertainty in your life. So you're at a point now, you said, well, I've shattered all the records. I'm consistently number one. I'm a, I'm a high achiever. I make all the income. And people will say, dude, you should just be happy. But for you, since security is your number one need right now, you'll self-sabotage, meaning spend your money in order to feel secure because you can make more money. And now you feel secure in this little world of yours. You see what I'm saying? And so that's where you're at right now. And in that place of security, you can never feel fulfilled tr trying to get security. It's in uncertainty. It's in contribution. So like you name, okay, I wanna go and make an impact on the Boys and Girls Club. But if that's really important to you, then you would make decisions to save money. You will make decisions to not spend money. You'll make decisions. You see, the better your decisions, the better your outcome is. Because that's really all that, it, all that matters. It's everything that you do, bro, everything that you do, it's a decision. And you have to get in a mind frame and consciously ask yourself, everything you do, you're making a decision. You're saying, okay, is this, what I'm doing, the right thing to do right now for my outcome or for what I want in life, for what I really want in life? And if you can ask the right question, and make the right decision, then better will be your outcomes. Right now, you don't have to ask the right question because you're making a bunch of money. You're feeling secure because you have them, but it's like you stay in this world of this fear of not having enough, this fear of not having it in the bank, this fear of not having enough money and all to which you're sabotaging yourself to feel secure. And it's, it's just, you gotta snap out of that thing. You gotta break loose. So number one, I'm glad that now we're aware of it. Okay, you're aware of it. And so now we gotta disassociate from that. Meaning there's gonna have to be some things that you're gonna say and things that you're gonna do. Emotionally to denounce these things that are happening right now. So if it's, hey, I wanna be whatever type of man I wanna be to go and help whatever type of people or organization I wanna help, that's what you have to write down, and that's what you're gonna to have to start confessing. You see, because what's in you right now is rooted in you, that security aspect, because that goes, that draws way back to your childhood. So we gotta uproot that, we gotta pull that root out. So now, the way you do that, now you're aware of it, that security issue. Now you gotta uproot it and denounce it and say, no, that's not who I am. And number two, this is who I am. This is who I'm becoming. And you gotta start asking better questions to yourself. That's now taking action, saying when those moments come up, when it's time to spend the money, when it's time to do this, you have this index card with you and you say, by spending this money, is it gonna aid to my outcome or not? Now you, you've given yourself the opportunity to make the right decision.
And remember, better decisions means better outcomes. But right now, you're just doing. You're going with the flow, and you're not. You're managing everything that's going on in your life, and you're not creating anything. You're just managing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.